Sunscreens. With so many available, how do you know which one is best? I'm Dr. Stephen Horowitz, and on today's episode of Health Matters, I'm going to show you which one is best for you and your family. Sunscreens can vary in their ability to prevent the sun's ultraviolet radiation from reaching your skin. Two types of ultraviolet radiation, UVA and UVB, can damage your skin and increase your risk of skin cancer. UVB is responsible for those painful sunburns, while UVA rays penetrate the skin more deeply and are responsible for wrinkling and aging of the skin. SPF, which stands for Sun Protection Factor, is a measure of a sunscreen's ability to prevent UVB from damaging your skin. So, a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 blocks 93% of all incoming UVB rays. SPF 30 blocks 97% and SPF 50 blocks 99%. Even on a cloudy day, up to 40% of the sun's radiation can reach the earth and cause significant sunburn if unprotected. When choosing a sunscreen, it is essential to look at the label to make sure the product offers broad spectrum protection against both UVB and UVA rays. SPF 15 or 30 offers sufficient protection for everyday activities. More and more aftershave lotions and moisturizers are actually being made with sun protection factor. If you work outside or spend lots of time outdoors, you need a stronger SPF and a product that is marked water resistant. To maximize the benefits of sunscreens, keep in mind the following. Use two to three tablespoons to each area of application. Apply sunscreen 30 minutes prior to exposure, allowing the ingredients to fully bind to the skin. Reapply sunscreen every two hours and reapply sunscreen immediately after swimming or sweating a great deal. So go out and have some fun. But remember, first put on your sunscreen. It's an important part of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Until next time, thanks for allowing me to be your partner in health and well-being.